More jobs across the region is good news for people looking for work, but it's becoming increasingly more difficult for employers to find the skilled workers they need. And that's especially true for steel companies in need of welders and fitters. But with the help of the Virginia Tech Institute, that issue will no longer be the case for a company in Lynchburg. 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant takes a closer look. I'm feeling pretty confident. Danny Tyree says he's good with his hands. Once we're done, we'll send it over to the welders where they can finish it up. He's been around steel work all his life until he lost his job. I was doing concrete for 14 years and that's what I thought I was going to be doing the rest of my life. Danny Tyree. Danny and nine others graduated today, earning their welding certificate. It's something once you learn it, you always have. You can take it anywhere you want. It's, it's always going to be a demand for it. And there's many opportunities out there for this, this type of work. Together, Virginia Tech Institute, Region 2000 Workforce, and Banker Steel formed this first welding certificate program. Technical skills is something that's dying. It's a dying art in the United States. And in central Virginia, we have a workforce that is underdeveloped. So we knew we had to go out and actually train and develop the workforce so that they will be hireable and come in. For seven weeks, instructors taught these trainees the art for welding and reading structural steel blueprints. We have the, the setup, the facility, the instructors, the curriculum, and we're pretty much off the shelf. And so we're out there very confidently promoting what we can offer for that skills development to a cross section of the construction industry. Although Danny had other plans for his life, he's happy with the new direction he'll be going. And it starts Monday with his new job with Banker Steel. It's a really good program. I enjoyed being in it. And it's not over yet. It's, it's, it's more to come. <laughs> in Alta Vista, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.